Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Byrne. I'm a graduate student in the MFA Design and Technology program at Parsons, the new school for design in New York City. This is my final project for a course I'm taking called CC Lab, and I keep forgetting what CC stands for, but it's a course that we like use computers and stuff and we code. A lot of people do projects on the internet, but I did a project involving my Nintendo. Um, it also didn't end up working, but I'm going to describe what it was intended to do and the remnants of it and how I was able to kind of semi-salvage it for the project I'm about to show you. So, right now, this is the enclosure that I've made, and the way it works is that connected to the Nintendo is that there are 15 wires attached to different points on the circuit board of the Nintendo that travel out of it through this cable and then travel into this and then those points connect to these rotary switches and as I turn them they are connected to different parts on the circuit board. This switch is connected to one side of this switch and this one is connected to the other so when I flip the switch two points on the circuit board will be connected and I will have access between which point is connected to what using these switches. So to demonstrate, I will flip it to the connected position, which is down, and I've created an immediate glitch on my Nintendo. But let's say I don't like this one and I'd like to change the position, so I just turn it one degree, and I can toggle through all these different worlds of, uh, you know, really wacky patterns. And then I can change the top and cycle through it again, and we keep getting different things. And I can turn other bend points on and combine them in strange ways. Oh, yep, sometimes you get a get one that resets it. So you gotta be careful when you start stacking bend points. But that, that's a strange one. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm? Nope. Almost. Yeah. Let's just keep doing some weird stuff here for a second. No, nope. okay, but you get the idea. It's a dangerous, you know, but fun way to uh, make some weird other... Alright, let's find one that's good and stick with it. There, that one's great. Yeah, so that's the way it functions right now. It's completely passive, but I wanted to use a circuit board with an Arduino to receive MIDI information uh, that would translate to note on messages that uh, would trigger points on a CD46-D6 to um, connect these points rather than using a mechanical switch. And as those points were triggered, these LEDs would light up, and those LEDs did light up, and the MIDI implementation worked as well, but the problem occurred with the CD4066 and how it reads voltages off of the Nintendo. I'm not exactly sure what happened or what was going on. Maybe I need something more like a hard switch because the voltages that are traveling in there are very strange. I'm reaching out to some people who are very knowledgeable and might have a suggestion as to what to do, but yeah, this this is, uh, I mean, it's really, it's this project is all about the case. Yeah, look at how cool that case is, and uh, just to show you the back, and I'll disconnect this for now, that it is, this is a, you know, system that I could use with any circuit bending device. All I need is this 15-pin D sub-miniature connector. There's a power switch for when this thing would be taking power to make the Arduino work, and there was a MIDI in jack to trigger one of these four bend points. Yeah, so that's about everything. And thanks for watching.